to continue to follow some breaking news in Wake County. Right now, multiple agencies are investigating a deadly shooting involving a member of law enforcement. CBS 17's Felicia Bolton joining us now live with the very latest on this investigation. So Felicia, what have you learned? Tania, well, I can confirm that one person died in this officer involved shooting, but there was some confusion as of last night whether the Apex Police Department or the Wake County Sheriff's Department uh, was responsible whenever it came to the shooting. But I'm able to confirm as of right now, I just spoke to the Wake County Sheriff's Department spokesperson. He's saying that this case is in the hands of the Apex Police Department. Eric Curry stated, quote, if this was a Wake County deputy that fired the shot, I would have already provided the information. He's claiming that his his deputies have nothing to do with this case. But when it comes to investigating, that's where the SBI is taking over in this case. The scene as of right now is clear, but here's some video from last night. This is the 3,000 block of White Cloud Circle. Officials say this is where it all happened. It's a much different story a few hours ago when there was Apex Police, Way County deputies, and the Apex Fire Department responding to the incident. Apex Police said fire officials responded because of smoke evidence on the outside of the house, and in fact, I still smell some smoke out here today. A neighbor I spoke to said she saw the chaos unfold and is hoping for the best possible outcome. I just hope that the, um, well, that the truth would come out and that um, the reports that happen, that they'll be accurate and that just the overall safety of the community, that it'll be increased. Well, I did reach out to the Apex Police Department to get their side of this story. They're telling me they're not able to provide any information for me, but the SBI is taking over, and they also referred me to the district attorney's office in Wake County. When we get more information, we will provide it for you both on air and online at CBS17.com. For now, reporting live in Wake County, Felicia Bolton, CBS17 News. Thank you.